Hi guys, Exeter Rider, thanks for joining me once again. Now this week is going to be a test ride of a Harley Davidson Livewire, which is one which I've been meaning to ride for a long, long time now. And here it is. Okay then guys, I'm just getting kitted up. Just had a quick briefing on how this uh, bit of technology works. It's about drive. Apparently you can get supercharges, which charge in, the, in about an hour. But the closest one to here is Bristol. So uh, that's right. So most of the time it's going to be on a slow charging situation on that side of things. It's quite a small bike actually, to be fair. Right, so to sit on it, was oh, quite low actually. Oh, I love electric bikes, I really do. A lot of engine braking on this. Oh, brilliant. This certainly feels a bit more like an engine compared to the Zeros and the other electric that I've ridden before. I hope the camera angle's got correct. I think it is. So again, I'm just tickling it at the moment and it seems uh, there's just so much more to give. A nice prominent speedo there and a percentage of what battery I have left and also a range indicator saying 95 miles at the moment apparently you can get a true 100 miles out of this bike god gee god and it's got that punch in the face power and torque as well once you open it up even just a quick blip will just fire you away seems a very short bike it's a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. And again, in true electric fashion, it's just instantly enjoyable to ride around places like this. Silence, just got the wind noise in my helmet. Just such an, it's always so lovely to get on an electric bike. When I have one for long term, I do find that it's nice to get back on a a combustion engine again just for the noise but in an ideal world I'd have one of each but I am actually interested in electric anyway so ideally that would probably be my next bike I like the engine braking on this as well normally with the Zeros uh, I'm just giving you an example of that and, and most of the others it is actually um, it does coast a lot more, whereas these have got a lot of, well I say engine braking, <laughs> you know what I mean. It has got a lot of uh, motor, motorised braking. I'm not sure if that's regenning itself or not, I don't know, but um, we've got the typical Harley indicators again. So you uh, got the right indicator in the right bar. And the left one on the left bar, which I believe are self cancelling I hope they are, because I don't know where the council switch is else. Indicating, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> it just, every time you accelerate on one of these things, you can't help but just smile. Very light, actually. Very, very nimble indeed. Much more nimble than what I'd expect. Brilliant mate, yeah, thank you. I can't believe I'm getting one of them for a week soon. Oh god, I'm so excited about that, I love that bike. The unfortunate thing is, because it's electric and they're limited on the charges that they've got at Plymouth, it's only a short test ride this. Oh, bye bye. Ha 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 ha!
most people know what I mean by that. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. Right, so on the way back now, too soon, far too soon. Harley, can I have one for long term riding please? A couple of weeks or whatever. It certainly breaks, makes progress pretty quick. I'd really love to have one of these on a, on a long term. Living with it, going around, just general commuting. Although it is a quick bike, I actually prefer taking it easy on this bike, really. Lovely road. Actually, having said that, this is actually pretty cool. Certainly shifts. I don't, I don't know what the top speed is on this. But it moves. It goes like hell. Not sure if it's as quick as the Zero. If I'm perfectly honest with you. Not that it matters. It's still quick enough. It feels like you might get more top speed out of it. But in true electric fashion, it does do it in such a, a gentle way anyway, so... Whee! Amazing bike. Obviously, cost-wise, it's going to be out of most people's pockets. And when you spend that sort of money... You can, you know, there is a lot out there, isn't there? You know, that, that you could buy which kind of does more like a big Tora or uh, you could even buy a couple Sportsters for the, the price of one of these I think um, but why would you buy this? well I suppose it's for, for something different there is a lot of novelty factor at, 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 at it as well um, Again, you are at the premium end of the electric bike market. And again, for Harley to not only make the Pan America, but this bike as well, when it's not their normal thing, you know, m massive respect for that. You know, they could have played it safe and just carried on doing what they were doing, but they, they really are... putting their neck on the line with these bikes not only the Pan America but this live wire as well sending uh, sending Ewan and Charlie off as well on their travels on one hang on mate 30 grand here thank you um, yeah and they're just not afraid to get stuck in Harley Davidson that's what I really like about them same as the show when uh, when they were doing the slow speed races on the Pan America what other company would say, I oh, know, we'll do that. We'll take that on. We'll take the risk of something going wrong. Whilst other people try and bust our bikes. And, uh, yeah, they, they got a lot of... Um, they're doing fabulous, to be honest with you, aren't they? I think. Knowing what I know about the industry and, uh, and all that. Where are we going now? The seat is very flat, but surprisingly comfortable. Only in a short time, obviously. I don't know what it'll be over time, but... Uh... Yeah, it really puts your gut in your back of your... Back of your ass when you open it up. I love the engine braking on this. I like not having it, and I like having it at the same time. A nice soft pull away there as well. They've got the regulators 
tested down to a key. Is that the, what they call it? A regulator? Whatever. Anyway, you know what I mean. It's a lovely ride. It really is. Looks nice all round as well. It's not too big and chunky like what I thought it was going to be, and judging by the pictures. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's a really, really good bike, guys. Be very interested to see what it's like to live with one. Again, self cancelling indicators. It really does. It's like when you open this bike up, it's a bit like being on one of those roller coasters that take you from 0 to 60 in two seconds. You really get that feeling. And like with any electric bike, it's um, when you open out a bike in first gear, you get that instant pull and the rush and, uh, and the pull of it. Uh, whereas this is like that all the way through. There's no, it doesn't drop off. But as I say, just coasting around in true electric bike fashion, it's just so smooth. No vibrations. I really, really like the lack of vibrations on bikes like these. That, for me, is one of the biggest selling points that a lot of people miss. There is no vibrations, and it's so, so refreshing. I just, I just wish this was on a bit longer, to be honest with you. I'm surprised I could talk for that long. Ducking in. <laughs> it really does, it really is. Gut-wrenching talk. The um, peg height is uh, quite a sporty height, but not as much as what I thought it was going to be. Just such a nice way of getting around. If you haven't ridden electric before, and you're very anti-electric, uh, which there are a lot of people like that, you are missing out, I'll tell you what, because just going around town on a bike like this, you just cannot beat it. It really is so, um, you know, the anti-vibes, the, the extra brain power that you've got with um, being able to concentrate on what you need to concentrate on. Way! <laughs> it really is superb, but thank you very much to Plymouth Harley Davidson. First time I've been down here. Thanks to that, uh, guys, and um, much appreciated. I'm actually going out on another one now, so uh, that would be good. As I say, very nimble, lovely engine braking, very smooth very quick when you want it to be slow speed look one mile an hour two miles per hour and i'm still upright because the weight is so low down as with all electric bikes nothing short of an experience that you like it you gonna buy it <laughs> yeah i would too it's fantastic isn't it Thank you.